For those who are looking to buy some solar panels, the solar market can look completely alien for the first time. Lots of unfamiliar names and each one you have to Google and check for reviews. At A1 Solar Store, we deal with a large number of solar panels from brands from all over the world. That's why I decided to help you get acquainted with some of the names and be more prepared when it comes to choosing a solar panel. Hello, I'm Tanya, and today we will be ranking solar panel brands. As far as I know, there are over 300 solar companies worldwide. I can go over all of them, so for this video I've chosen 15 brands that I had experience with. I'll briefly go over what I know about the brand and what our customers say about them. If you like this video, let me know in the comments and I'll make a sequel. So, for the ranking I'll be using a tier list maker service. There are tiers from S to D, where D is something that I wouldn't recommend getting and S is something that I would actually get for myself. I'll rate the brands based on prices, panel specifications, availability in the United States and reviews, of course. These are manufacturers, not installers companies, so you won't find companies like Sunbrand in this ranking. I should also add that while some of these brands are technically offered at our store, there is no promotion going on. That's why I'll try to be as harsh as possible and nitpick as hard as I can. So let's get to it! Let's start with something simple and familiar. Panasonic is one of companies that shaped the solar market as we know it. However, it doesn't make solar panels anymore and instead outsources manufacturing. I heard that Panasonic and REC panels are the same and they just come under different labels. For me, it made the perfect sense. Their panels are very similar in terms of characteristics and price. Panasonic is on the more expensive side of the market, but great panels all around, so A or S. REC is a Norwegian company. As I've mentioned, their panels are the same as Panasonic. They're great all around, good efficiency, they age slower than most, they do very well in hot weather. The drawback, however, is high price. RSC also has a confusing warranty policy. Technically, their panels get a 25-year coverage for product, performance and labor, but only if the panels are installed by an REC certified installer, which you have to find first. Still, the brand, I would say, is at least A. Let's go to Star Solar. This is a fun company. They claim to be the only woman-owned and woman-managed solar company in the world. A very young brand. I think it was founded in 2022 in Los Angeles. Because of how new it is, there isn't a lot of data on them and very little reviews on the internet. Their website is still very simple and the product line is only two models. The panels themselves are just okay. The only thing that really stands out is a 30-year warranty for the product and performance, more than what most manufacturers offer. But again, when you have a young company whose future is uncertain, these warranties don't mean much. So I'm gonna put them in the C by now. Okay, where do we put Tesla? Tesla is actually the installer and the manufacturer in one, so we have to take all of their services into account. That's a tough one because I should differentiate their solar products from their power walls and electric cars. As far as I know, Tesla's solar panels are made both in the United States and China. For an American brand with a big name, they're pretty cheap. However, there were just too many service complaints and news about Tesla systems malfunctioning, catching fire, not working, and all that. While I have huge respect for Tesla, their solar products aren't exactly top-notch right now. So, it is C, I would say. Mission Solar is a pure American product. A rare case, actually. Mission Solar are based in San Antonio, Texas, and that's where they make their panels. There is nothing wrong with them, but they are very basic, 
very middle, average efficiency, moderate warranties, not too expensive, but not too cheap either. A solid B. Jinko Solar is at times the largest solar manufacturer in the world. The company is from China and the panels are made in China. The panels are very good with top numbers for efficiency and strong warranties, but for some reasons they are a little hard to come by in the United States. Maybe because they are sold out very quickly. I think I'd have to put them in the A, but just because they are not easy to get. Celeria is a brand from Fremont, California. They have very fun, very unusual solar panels. Normal panels have cells, but Celeria are made of, well, strips layered on top of each other. That's why Celeria panels look better than all other panels. They also deal with shading better. The problem is how expensive they are. So, Still, it is a strong A tire. I can hardly remember what it is. Sanelli. Ah, it is an Indian brand that has completely given up on any sort of internet presence. They have a dead website with very old panels. I'm not sure if they are still in the business, though I came across some modern panels a few times. Panels actually look okay on paper but it's definitely not the company i would recommend so sonelli solar have terrible reviews which mostly concerns not the panels but the service i guess i can confidently put them in the d q cells without any explanations a strong s tier they have a great reputation and they put out new solar panels each year originally q cells was a german brand but then they were bought by korean hanva group now they have a team in germany headquarters in seoul and manufacturing facilities in korea indonesia and the united states this is one of the most popular brands among our customers not too expensive lots of different models almost always in stock, top tier brand without any question. LG solar panels are actually not a thing anymore. The company stopped making solar panels and now develops only batteries. Some of suppliers still offer the remains, but in terms of availability, LG solar panels are out of it. Their panels were amazing and they competed with SunPower for top numbers and efficiency, but they were very expensive. Normally they would go in the 8, but since they are not getting produced anymore, I would give them B. Canadian Solar isn't really Canadian. The company was founded by a Chinese physicist and most of their products are made in China. Canadian solar panels are famous for doing well when it is cloudy and in winter. A couple of years ago, there was a controversy surrounding the brand because of iffy working ethics of their partners in China. But as far as panels go, very good product, good reviews and high quality, so no doubt it's gonna be C. Trina. Trina is a Chinese brand that competes with Jinka Solar for leadership in the solar market. Last year, the construction of the world's largest PV plant finished in Abu Dhabi, and it was built out of Trina solar panels. The big difference with Jinka is that Trina solar panels are much easier to find in the United States. We always have them in stock and they are very, very popular. The panels come at a good price and show very good specifications. There were a series of quality issues with these panels in the middle of 2010s, but it's not really relevant today. As type brand, in my opinion. Axitec is a small German brand. We had their panels in our store a long time ago, but it seems that they have run out. They were not bad, and they had many variations of their panels. Price-wise, somewhere in the middle, if I recall correctly. Not very modern or anything. A solid B, in my opinion. URE is the biggest Taiwanese solar company. Just like most Asian-made panels, they are quite cheap. Favorable reviews, specs are fine, they can be hard to find in the US though. I would say that design-wise, there are better panels out there. 
so I would give them B. And the last for today, Aptus. This is a very young American company. I think it was founded in 2019. Small product line and okay reputation so far. The panels are very solid all around. They offer very good warranties, but the company is young and the customer service had complaints. There is still not a lot of reviews on Aptos panels and little data on how they age. For now, it is B. And that's about it. Honestly, I'm not even halfway through with the brands that I could cover, but I think I'll stop here for now. If you'd like to see a sequel, leave a comment below. Also, go check out our magazine, social networks and, of course, A1 Solar Store itself. I'm Tanya. Have a sunny day.